what your definition of is of um, self-realization. Mm. So you start at the end. Start there. All everything has levels, obviously, right? And so let's take the simplest level of the term self-realization. You are in there. I, I always play with people when I start, and I ask, "Hi, are you in there? Hi, are you in there?" <laughs> right? I've done that for forty-five years, and I've never ever had anybody say no. Okay, hi, are you in there? And then the question is, who is that that is aware that they are in there? Mm. And our tendency is to think that I am the body. I am this package of body and mind and emotions. That's the I. That's who I am, right? And the book very clearly, one of the main things the Untethered Soul does, is walk you through showing you that it's not true, all right? That if... Your body, well, once your body was 15 years old, and now it's 50 years old, right? It has gone through some rather dramatic changes, but you're still in there. And the you who's in there now, looking at a 50-year-old, is the exact mm. you that was in there looking at a 15-year-old. And you know that, all right? So you didn't change one iota, but your body went through, so on. Some people have accidents or something goes wrong and they lose a limb or something. It's still them. They did not change one iota. They're just aware that... You know, I, I, my body's not in the same state as it used to be, all right? So the question becomes, who is this that is looking at the body in the mirror, not what is the body they're looking at? Who are you, all right? And then you work through the process of, well, I'm my mind. I have these thoughts, right? But who's aware of your thoughts? I don't want to get into the whole discussion we're going to have today and just one answer, but... You are aware of your thoughts. The exact you who looks at your body in the mirror is the you that notices that your mind is saying, I'm not sure what he's talking about. Or I've, I've studied this. Come on, we've studied this stuff for years. Everybody knows this already. Whatever the mind's saying, you are watching that. So the question becomes, in the end, who are you? When your heart goes through different changes, some people come and they say, my heart hurts. I always tell them, I'm not, I'm not a therapist. They wouldn't let me be a therapist. You don't want to come to me one-on-one. Because -on -one. <laughs> if you come to me, and you say, my heart hurts, I'm going to ask you, how do you know? And that's not what you expect me to ask you. How do you know your heart hurts? And you're going to get mad at me and say, because I'm in here and I see the thing. Who is? Who are you that's watching your heart hurt? Is it the same you who watched yourself feel love? Watch your heart feel love, now you're watching the heart hurt? Of course it is. There's, there's your in there. Self-realization, in its simplest sense, is to say you have realized who's in there. You have realized that you are not your mind, you are not your emotions, you are not your body, you're certainly not anything you're looking at, your car, your house, they can change, you're still there, right? Who is the unchanging one? Who is the one that's always there and has been in there from the beginning, all right? And someday you will be on your deathbed and you will be watching yourself take your last breath and watch your mind say, oh, I had a nice life or I haven't, and you just be there, you're there. So this is the self, this is the Atman, this is the soul. So self-realization is that you have returned to that seat of being, and that's the beginning of self-realization, that's the minimum. I have realized what I'm not, okay, all right? Now the question is, who am I? Now that I've returned to the seat of my being, where did it come from? What is the source of consciousness? What is the source of self? All of that falls into the realm of self-realization. And so there are these different aspects of our being, and part of this journey is realizing by learning to watch your thoughts that you have these different aspects to your being. Is that right? You are the being that has these aspects. Okay. I'm not you going to call the, the consciousness an aspect of your being. Just like people say to me, do, do you believe people have a soul? And I, I like to use shock therapy. So I say, no. People don't have a soul. They are the soul. That's what the word soul means. You, who you are. You don't have one. You have a car. You have a purse. You have a soul. You are the one that has these things. So that aspect of yourself is yourself. It is the awareness of being. If I take away what you're aware of, you're still aware that it's not there. If I take away your awareness, it's over. I've turned off the light. There's nobody there. So that's who you are. All right, then you are aware of these mm -hmm. different aspects of your being. Mm -hmm. You are not an aspect mm -hmm. of your being. Mm -hmm. 